Hey guys, Magnus Robber here, bringing you another Dead Walking Dead character video. This time we're going back to the Grady Memorial Hospital and looking at two more cops. Those will be Franco and McGinley. Franco is of course male, he is played by Rico Ball. He is late 20s to early 30s and first appeared in Coda. McGinley is of course male, he's played by Kyle Clements. He is late 20s to early 30s and first appeared in Coda. Before the outbreak, both men were police officers in the Atlanta Police Department. When the outbreak first began, they were assigned at the hospital to keep things under control. However, when no backup or rescue arrived and the city began to be bombed, Franco and McGinley, along with their fellow officers, officers decided to remain in the hospital, first led by Hansen and then by Dawn. Soon the hospital began a practice of rescuing and helping people only then to force them to pay off their debt by working in the hospital. The cops would also sometimes obtain these debts by just straight up kidnapping people. In Season 5, Franco and McGinley are first seen in their police cruiser driving around Atlanta City. They pull up on Rick and get out and pull their guns on the man, and Rick tells them their names. As they hold their guns up to Rick, he explains his name and how he was a cop before the outbreak, and he finishes by saying he wants to make a proposal. Franco tells Rick to lay his weapon on the ground and watches carefully as Rick lays his Colt Python on the ground. They step closer to Rick, and McGinley asks what the proposal is. Rick explains he wants to trade their two cops for his two group members, and McGinley asks who he has, and Rick explains he has Shepard and Lakari. He then asks about Noah and Lamson, and Rick explains that Lamson was killed by the dead. Franco then questions where Rick's people are, and Sasha shoots a walker to show them that they have snipers up above. Sarcastically, Rick says they're close, and Franco, he looks a bit scared. They then contact Dawn to tell her about the proposal. Franco later opens the hospital door to Rick, his group, and their hostages to enter, and McGinley, he's hanging around there too. Dawn instructs weapons to be holstered and Franco and McGinley watch Rick and Co. do so. Once in the hallway, McGinley and Franco go over to Dawn's side of the room. They both watch the trade go down, but Dawn gets greedy and asks for Noah. They watch Dawn bicker about keeping Noah and also hear Dawn saying that they no longer have a deal. They of course then witness... Dawn shooting Beth and Daryl killing Dawn. They both suddenly raise their guns, but Shepard tells everyone it's done. It was all about Dawn, after all. Rick's group then leave with Beth's body and, of course, Noah. And that is the last we see of Franco and McGinley. Now, just like with all the other residents of Grady Memorial Hospital, off-screen it was confirmed that eventually Grady Memorial Hospital fell and all of the survivors from there were killed. This, of course, included Franco and McGinley. It's unsure exactly what killed the men, but it was either zombies or another group. I'm thinking probably the latter. Maybe it's wishful fan service, but I've always imagined that Grady Memorial Hospital was taken out by the Whisperers. Anyway, tell me your thoughts on the two men, and let's spin that wheel. Let's pick another character. Wee. So, the next character is going to be... Ooh. Norris. And Norris's son. <laughs> 